steaming dirt. What's up with that? Hello everybody, Randy from Jacob's Triangle here again. Welcome to the channel. Now you're probably wondering why I would have steaming dirt in the intro for the video. Well, let me show you. Okay, what I'm going to use is my wife's electric kettle that I boiled water in and I'm going to pour the water from that into the soil. I mentioned before when I was doing another seed planting video that Marie from Salon Girl Gardens did a video talking about killing eggs for moss nets. Might, might have been fungus nets. But anyways, what she said to do is to pour boiling water in your soil before you use it. Especially if you're going to use it indoors. And the heat from the boiling water will kill the eggs. If you don't want nasty little things flying around your house, this is just quick something that you can do to keep that from happening. Today we're planting some green salad bowl leaf lettuce and we're planting some black seeded lettuce and we're going to plant some giant noble spinach. Okay, we're going to plant our spinach in this first tray. The package says to space them about two inches apart. I'm going to space them apart further because we just don't want to plant it that densely in this little container. And it also says to give 18 inches between the rows, which probably won't do quite that much. And a half an inch deep. Well, there it's about four inches. We'll do eight in this one. germination on this is 10 to 15 days. So they're pretty slow. Oh, they're tiny too. Should have gotten my, wife tweez my wife's tweezers again. Okay, one in each hole. Probably should do more than one in e each hole, but I'm going to count on them being good viable seeds and the ones that aren't just aren't. So that one's a little shallow. So I'll give that one a little push down with the pencil. There we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is my boiled dirt is what I'm going to use to backfill the holes. Put a little bit on each hole. Now because I did use the boiled dirt, there the soil's pre-moistened. So I don't have to worry about moistening the soil. This is just now, like that, that's all done. I'm going to leave the seed pack by it for now so that I know what is planted there. Okay, and next one is the black seeded Simpson and this one is seed spacing of one to two inches. We'll probably do that one denser than this one and depth is an eighth of an inch. So I'm not even going to bother to make holes. Of course this being lettuce seeds I'm sure that they're extremely tiny. Oh yes very tiny. I don't think I'm going to try to worry so much about getting them spaced evenly because I'm just not going to because they're so tiny. And a lot of these that I'm dropping I'm getting more than one, more than two, and sometimes four.
Okay. Now, here we go. Now what I am doing to get them back in the pouch is I'm dropping them into this bowl and then I'm dumping them from the bowl into the seed pouch because the crevices in my hand will catch them and they just won't dump in where they need to go. Seed pack there. Once again, I'm going to go in with my boiled soil. Which, By the way, it has cooled off considerably, so we're not going to be cooking the seeds. Black gold. <clears throat> okay, and now the last one is the green salad bowl. And once again, lettuce seeds, they are very, very tiny. I'm just shaking a number of them out into my hand. And then I'll try to put them here in the soil. Of course with my hands covered in dirt, I want to stick to my hands. Okay, let me just recap what I'm doing in this experiment here. I'm trying to see how much food you can actually grow indoors with these three trays here and the tray of radishes that I'm going to replant because those I do not believe are going to be viable radish plants. So my original idea was that you would do like I did today. You'd plant your tr original trays and in about a week or two weeks, because the germination period on lettuce is 7 to 12 days, the germination period on the spinach is 10 to 14 days, so that's roughly two weeks. So two weeks, you'd give this initial planting time to sprout, and then you'd do it again in a second tr set of trays. And then as they mature, you would rotate back and forth between the two of them to harvest and by harvesting you'll just remove some of the leaves you will not remove the entire plant i believe that doing it that way you would be able to have fresh salads every week grown indoors the radishes i'm not giving up on them yet i know that they need a lot more light than what they got here so i'm going to try them again i'm going to make a shop light grow light that i'm going to put on them and see if we can get radishes also. I'm not giving up on them. I will come back in about two weeks and see how it looks. So if you are interested in following this series, which I hope that you are, please consider clicking the subscribe button down there and ringing the bell down there also. We ring the bell, set it to all notifications. That way, every time I release a new video, you will get a notification so that you can come watch it. Subscribing allows you to find my channel easier and quicker. Give me a thumbs up too. That lets me know that you like what I'm doing. That lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. And until next time, be healthy.